if we're getting in front of our audience and not seeing results, it has more to do with the story we're telling. It's a miss. It's not resonating mm-hmm. with our audience, which is why it's so important to understand who they are and what they want to see. Let's get into it. Who are our consumer audience types? So we break it up into three groups. Success Confidentials are conversations around elective growth. What drives it and what sustains it? Are you ready to think outside the box and do healthcare differently? You'll learn from our missteps, our successes, and change the way that you think about elective healthcare. So let's have some fun. <laughs> let's dive in. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's Christine and Lauren, and welcome to another Success Confidentials. I'm Christine. I bring a business background with me into healthcare. I joined private practice eight years ago and really pivoted our practice model to focus on elective growth. We decided to treat our team like sales, customer service, concierge professionals, and treat our patients like VIP customers. I'm Lauren. I worked in private practice for four years. My journey began as a patient ambassador. I'm a next generation marketing guru and growth strategist, teaching clinics how to meet the consumer where they're at, which is online, and lead them into action. So today, let's stop and walk through one of our very favorite things to do. Yes. Yes, it's keeping an open mind and get ready for a massive perspective shift. Successful practices know how to stop and view and evaluate every single marketing move from the perspective of their target consumer audience. We talk about this a lot, Mm -hmm. but let's really zoom in on who this audience is today and how we can appeal to them. Some of our greatest innovations and success drivers came from this really simple exercise. To step out of our role in practice and into the shoes of our consumer. Mm -hmm. We have to really view everything through their lens and look at things from their perspective. It really applies to every single patient touch point, Mm -hmm. uh, from marketing to the patient experience. But today, we're really talking about marketing and how every marketing initiative has to be viewed through this lens. Mm -hmm. So many times, we roll out marketing initiatives and are so focused on the goals we want, or maybe the marketing method we're taking to get to those goals, that we lose sight on how the customer or consumer actually perceives what we're putting out there. And this is really the big difference between success and mediocre marketing. So many times, we try something in marketing and are underwhelmed by the results and don't feel like it was a successful strategy when really it had less to do with the delivery or the strategy of the marketing and more to do with the content that we were serving because it didn't resonate with the audience. If we're getting in front of our audience and not seeing results, it has more to do with the story we're telling. It's a miss. It's not resonating Mm -hmm. with our audience, which is why it's so important to understand who they are and what they want to see. A hundred percent. A great example of this is when I joined you in practice, Mm -hmm. you were investing in social media, you saw the power it had, but you were getting limited results. Yes. Just shifting every piece of content and messaging to resonate with the consumer, these audience types we're talking about versus really, you know, our project goals and projecting that on them, Mm -hmm. we saw a massive shift in revenue. It was a total game changer. And this applies to every marketing initiative. So whether it's social media or think about our SEM results listings, Mm -hmm. when someone Googles our services or us, what pops up? What do they see? Our Google My Business profile, our reviews, really any part of our online footprint, Mm -hmm. whether it's our brand or our advertising, it's the messaging. What story are we telling? And is it what our audience needs to see and hear? Will they resonate with it? Let's get into it. Who are our consumer audience types? So we break it up into three groups, Mm -hmm. three different types of audience. The first one's obvious. Mm -hmm. We refer to this as the bottom of the funnel. Right. This is a person who is actively searching, 
considering your procedure. They are on the hunt. This is on their radar. The second is our mid viewer funnel. So this is the person who is aware of our services. They've thought about the service for maybe years, mm -hmm. but they are a passive viewer. They are not actively searching or considering. It's kind of on the shelf. It's on their radar, but they're not actively looking. Our third one is top of the funnel audience. This is a forgotten audience for a lot of practices. This is the person who is out there walking around. They are your candidate. They're your target demographic, but they are either unaware of your procedure or what you offer, mm -hmm. or maybe it's a well-known procedure and they're aware of it, but they've never considered it for themselves. We know from experience that a large portion of our revenue goals can be generated from this audience, but only when we are incredibly strategic mm -hmm. in our messaging. If what we're putting in front of them does not hit, mm -hmm. if it doesn't resonate with them, they tune out and they keep scrolling with mm -hmm. social media or wherever we are advertising whatever platform we're using it has to interrupt their experience with an impact mm -hmm. that they appreciate mm -hmm. and help move them down this funnel 